Hello everyone, I'm Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to make a video for you guys talking about what I do as a financial consultant. I know in past videos I've touched on this before, but today I really want to dive deep into what a financial consultant is, what they do for an organization, and how this job is different from accounting. So I want to get started by sharing with you guys uh, the textbook definition of a financial consultant, and then later in the video I'm going to talk about what I actually do day to day that might give you a more real world and practical understanding of what a financial consultant does. So, financial consultants provide clients with detailed financial information, informed financial forecasting, and ways to invest to achieve their short-term and long-term organizational goals. I work for a US-based consulting firm here in Okinawa, Japan. Much of my job involves analysis of records and looking at things from a very analytical point of view. As a financial consultant, you're basically the person between the accounting team and the organizational leadership saying, here's what your accounting is reporting, here's what it means, this is why it is that way, and this is how it's gonna affect your organization in one year, two years, 10 years down the road. In a typical day, I'll go into work, pull financial reports that we pull every day, and I'll look at our most critical metrics and see what they're doing. I'll compare them to performance of that metric in the past, or are they performing how we expect them to, or are they performing better or worse? If the metrics are performing better than expected, there could be something that we missed or something that we're not accounting for. If the metrics are worse than expected, then we have to look at why is that the case? Is this just an error in reporting? Are these numbers actual? Has the accounting system that's generating the reports not just caught up to the actuality of the situation yet? But that's enough nerding out. Sorry, I got a little bit too into the weeds there. But essentially what you're doing as a financial consultant is you are consolidating all the information that the accounting team is giving you and you're using it to communicate an accurate picture of the financial landscape of your organization. Also, as a financial consultant, I look at ways to improve the organization through drafting policy and making sure that policy currently in place is getting enforced properly. By that, I mean making sure all the internal controls are there and are properly being used, making sure that everyone has the correct level of access to these systems they need to do their job and also make sure that money is being spent within the correct uh, time, purpose, and amount. In the financial world, time, purpose, and amount means that was the money spent when it was supposed to be spent, was it spent on the thing it was supposed to be spent for, and was the amount spent the correct amount. I would say that to be a successful financial consultant, you really need to understand your client's culture their organization and what their specific needs are so that you can best generate those positive business outcomes. Almost all financial consulting positions will require you to have a degree in something like accounting, finance, or business. And although it's not required, a lot of financial consultants do go on to get a master's degree, typically an MBA. I would say that experience is the best way to get a job in financial consulting. So look for internships or entry-level jobs in companies that specialize in accounting and financial management. Like with any position, use your network to broadcast your expertise, your skills, and your desire to work in that field. That way you can get the recognition and learn about any upcoming opportunities that you think would be best for you. I started my financial career in the United States Air Force as a Commander's Resource Advisor, or CRA. What a CRA does is basically they are in charge of all financial aspects of a military unit. All the budget planning, all the purchasing, all the travel, all the accounting, all the supply management. It's a very busy and intense role. But essentially what it comes down to is making sure that your commander has everything they need to complete their wartime mission and make sure they have all the resources they need to properly train and educate that organization. While I was in the Air Force, I earned my undergraduate in business management and I completed my MBA a few months after my military service had ended. After grad school, I started applying to roles where I could use my financial knowledge, education, and expertise to continue to help organizations grow and develop through proper resource management. Through successful networking, I learned about opportunities here in Japan at the firm I work for now. I applied 
got hired and started working there in February of 2020. If you're currently a business major, there'll be a lot of opportunities for you to network into a financial consulting type of position. If you're currently an accounting major, financial consulting roles may be a good option for you if you're looking to expand your career opportunities after you graduate. I do work hand in hand with our accounting team every day. I'm very grateful for that because they are so knowledgeable and they teach me a lot. Although financial consultants and accountants wear a lot of the same hats, there are some distinct differences between the two positions. Accountants focus on accounting systems, audits, historical financial records. They have a rules-based approach to business. They prepare financial statements and they are backwards focused. On the other hand, consultants focus on financial planning and strategy, financial management, they ensure the needs of the organization are met. They have an analysis-based business approach. They analyze financial statements and look at those financial statements impact on the organization and they're future focused. Do you work in accounting or consulting? What do you think about my assessment of the profession? Please comment down below. I'm very interested to hear what you might have to say. If you wanna know more about my background, I will put links to my LinkedIn as well as my Instagram in the description box below. Please feel free to message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well everyone, thank you so much for watching. That's going to wrap up this video for today and I will see you all in the next one.